that was our design underway back in 2022. It took us some time, but we are finally ready to show the world what we were working on. Our journey of simplifying energy for EVs has meant rethinking everything from the battery architecture to the BMS to the charging algorithms. And now, the charger itself. When we were designing our first chargers, which we called P1 and P2, the goal was to quickly go into the field. We wanted to learn how people used it in the real world and discover new engineering challenges. The only thing we absolutely needed to have were safety and uptime. The team took all the learnings from the field when it was time to design P4, our new charging station. To scale exponentially, we had to rethink everything from the ground up. A city like Delhi or Bangalore has 300 to 400 petrol stations. With EVs, there'll be tens of thousands of chargers. They'll be everywhere and anywhere in the city. And energy will be truly decentralized. Chargers will play a large role in defining future urban landscapes. They need to look good and be space efficient. Getting there needs some design thinking at its core. Our old stations had a lot of unusable area around the charger. It was just a waste of real estate. So we played around with the layout, tried all kinds of things to be more efficient. Then we had an idea. What if we turned the box into a wall? We placed the charger along the length of the vehicle, squishing it down to just 400 mm. That ensured we needed very little space beyond the parking bay, while actually increasing the volume inside the charger, so engineers have more room to play with. Once that was done, the next thing we wanted to solve was the connector and the mating experience. Rapid charging equals high current equals heavy wiring. So our connector and cable together ended up very heavy and hard to maneuver. This was a pain, especially because in the real world, the vehicle is never parked accurately. And different vehicles have ports in different locations. Plugging in also took a lot of force and we didn't have any user feedback, which meant the driver didn't always know when the connector was fully plugged in. And at the end of the charging process, Drivers would often just drop the connector and rush away. The entire thing just didn't click. So we fixed it. Charging should trump fueling on speed, reliability and experience. To pull that off, we had to go back to the drawing board. To handle high current, you need low resistance, which means you have to use thicker wires which end up being heavier. You can also use thinner wires with higher resistance, but you need to liquid cool them to manage the additional heat produced. The problem is you lose energy as heat and then you lose some more on liquid cooling, making it a double whammy. In a market like India, every last bit of efficiency matters, which is why thick wires were our only real option. Since we couldn't reduce the absolute weight, the only option was to take it off the driver's hands. So to make things easier, we built a 3-axis cable management system and actually suspended the whole connector. That way, lifting 25 kilos feels as effortless as picking up a laptop. No matter where the vehicle is parked, drivers can move it around easily to plug in. Once the driver unlocks it, the connector just glides back to the center on its own. But removing the weight wasn't enough. We also wanted to make sure the mating experience is seamless, super intuitive and India-proof. At our old stations, charging worked just fine, but plugging in took a fair bit of force and there wasn't much feedback for the user. So people ended up getting it wrong about 2% of the time. And when you're handling thousands of charging sessions a day, even 98% isn't good enough. So we came up with a whole new locking mechanism that feels great to use. Just push down the lever, it clicks right into place with almost no effort, giving you a secure fit and really satisfying feedback. We also wrap the connector in a full metal shell to make it basically indestructible. You can yank it, kick it and even stand on it. No problem at all. We are the only company in the world that runs coolant through the connector along with the current. That brought a bunch of unique engineering challenges 
We learned a lot from real world use. For example, dust used to sneak in and slowly wear out the connector seals over time, which led to leaks. It wasn't actually an issue of safety or performance. Our connector and charger can even work underwater. But seeing those leaks definitely didn't inspire much confidence. So we went back and completely redesigned the way connector seals. Instead of using just radial seals, we switched to spring compressed axial seals like the ones used in LPG and CNG guns. This gave a super secure high pressure seal no matter what environment you are in. At the end of charging, we even blast compressed air through the connector to clear out any water left that finally got rid of leaks and drips. So customers can have total peace of mind. After rethinking the station layout, design and the entire connector system, we also revisited the architecture of the charger itself. We needed to make one big change in order to scale up and work across different climates in India. Our old chargers only cooled the battery, but in really cold winters in places like Delhi, we actually need to warm the battery first. To rapid charge cells, too cold or too hot are both bad. So we added a preheating feature to heat up the battery by pumping in hot water through a parallel loop. While we were at it, we used the increased space inside the charger to redo the entire layout. We modified the packaging, reduced fan size and optimized airflow paths to keep the internals of the charger cooler. In the process, we also ended up making it a lot quieter while operating. Cutting down the noise might seem like a small fix, but when you're thinking about an urban landscape with thousands of chargers, even the little things matter. Ultimately, we got a completely new charging product ready for scale anywhere in India with a sweet user experience. But charging is not just about the charger. It's also about how you interact with a city-wide network every day. It's easy to think rapid charging is all about the 15 minutes you spend plugged in, but that's only a part of the story. There's also the time it takes to actually find a station, drive there, park, get everything set up, pay, and finally get back on the road. To start with, interacting with our network actually begins on your phone. That's where our new app comes in. You can see exactly where every charger is, and you can check in real time which ones are up and available. Once you arrive at the charging station, our battery and charger talk to each other and handle authentication on their own. The driver can just pull up, plug in, charge with a monthly pass. There's no need to worry about swiping key cards or making payments at the station. We're also constantly monitoring usage and prioritizing chargers in high demand areas to ensure there's always an e-pump near you. Not more than 15 minutes away for now. And soon we are going to bring that down to just 5 minutes. At Exponent, we have always understood that making energy simple needs an ecosystem approach. It's never been just about the battery pack, the cooling system or the charger. This is why when someone uses Exponent, the experience feels seamless. From how fast they charge to how reliable the battery is, to even how payments just work. That's only possible because we build a tightly integrated system where the pack, the station and the cloud all work as one. Charging time and life of the battery might be what we are known for right now. But that's really just the tip of the iceberg. This launch is our next big step towards delivering a unified energy experience that's built entirely around the user.